Hello fellow engineers and welcome to 64. Now this is a factory game like no other. Let's get started and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So we're in a we're in a white room. We've got this machine in the middle here. And if you look in the bottom left, this is sort of like our tutorial. I like to think I'm texting Paddy. So Paddy's in yellow. He's like, where are you? I'm like, I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. Like, what is this base? It's just white. He asks, what do you see? I say, not much, just that. Sort of looks familiar. And Paddy's like, wait, tell me you are not touching some random machine right now. Yeah, so if I click, can you see it's like moving? If I hold click, that's moving down. So it looks like there's like some sort of rods at the bottom. So if we just hold down and that goes in, then... It's made a cube. Look, it's working. It just created something. Paddy's like, what? A huge black cube. It's so smooth. I really want to break it. <laughs> Paddy's just super confused right now. So yeah, I can then click on these. And look, can you see it's like it's getting destabilized? And then as we click, it breaks. And then we've got 64 Karenite. Charonite. Obviously, I can't describe that word to Paddy very well, so I just call them stones. It's like, well, okay then, have fun with that. So yeah, basically, we can hold this down. And as we hold, you'll see more and more of these little cubes appear until we get to a point where we're completely surrounded. So now we can just go around and click all of these. Nice. A whole load of clicking. Right, and then as I tell Paddy, we've unlocked these extra buildings. So they cost some of this black stuff to use up. So basically, this one is a destabilizer. Place it next to the cube to break it twice as fast. It does require an Elmerin to operate, so I can build one of those, but because we don't have that extra resource, we've only got this one, uh, there's not a lot we can do at the moment, so I guess, I guess we just need to keep going until yes look at this one can you see there's like a little orange cube in there as i tell paddy i just need to put a yellow stone inside this machine here so if we bash that one yes we've now got one of those mines so if we now get this going again so we just hold this down wait for all of those to appear and then this thing if we click on it one of those yellow blocks has gone in there which means now i think hang on how many clicks did these take i think 12 or 13 so these take one two three four five six seven now because we're in range of this thing. So that allows us to break through stuff way quicker. So if I shove another one like over this side, you can see the area it works. So shove another one over there, put a yellow cube in there, and then I can click on those ones really quick. It's just these ones are going to take ages still. Now Paddy's like, what exactly are you doing? I'm like, I'll text you later. I need to keep pushing the machine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we basically, we just hold down this one in the middle. Oh, that's got two cubes in. Oh, we're getting all the yellow now. We're getting all the yellows. Oh, dig down 64 meters. Oh, so this is digging down. It's gone down to 66 meters. That's probably why there's more rare stuff. Interesting. But yeah, so I can break these real quick now. And we're getting a lot more yellow just because we are lower. So yeah, we'll keep this mining down. Yeah, we're getting deeper and deeper into the ground. I'll tell you what, do I add another destabilizer. I could add them on this side. Additional destabilizers increase the effect. Yeah, so if I do that, add a cube into there, then these corner ones should break like really quick. Yeah, five clicks. So those still take a little bit more, but the corner ones, really quick. Oh yeah, okay, I like that. I like that. I can afford another one, so let's shove that there. So then we got the same thing over this side. Oh, nice. Now we're making cash. Now we're making cash fast. Uh, you can see on the right as well, we've unlocked like way more buildings. They require quite a lot of different resources though so let's get the the stone up to like i don't know a thousand um, oh these have run out of the yellow cube so keep stocking those up keep growing all of them keep clicking enjoy the corner ones how quick they are compared to the middle ones right look now we've got some stuff we can bite so we've got a channel cooler place this next to the cube extract machine to extract cubes twice as fast. So the extractor is this one, right? Will I lose a square if I do that? If so, I should probably put it like there. So now if I do that, oh, that is twice as fast. Oh, that's way faster. But yeah, obviously we don't get a cube where that fan is. So we get less cubes, but they come up way quicker. Also, we are getting through the yellow stuff. Can me try to explain to Paddy? He's like... <laughs> <laughs> you are making so much sense right now, Dad. All right, also, we've got a reverse valve. Prevents the cube extracting machine from resetting to the original position if placed next to it. Okay, let me just clear these away, and then we'll see how that works as well. So if we grab one of them and shove that there, it's got to be in range of this thing. Oh, hang on. Yeah, i got to shove a cube in there. So as that goes down, if I let go... Oh, it doesn't reset like that, so I can just keep 
growing. Oh, so now, yeah. So now when I like click these again, I can literally just click on that and it starts straight away. The other time it like we had to wait for the for the like drill to go down. Okay, so that's quite good. By the way, look how much of the yellow stuff we have. Nice. No, I do need to shove them back in those machines. They get this going again. Oh, look how much yellow stuff is in there. Yeah. The trouble is the more like we boost the thing in the middle, the less blocks we actually get. Not ideal. Um, I feel like as well, maybe more destabilizers just so I'm clicking a lot less. Although, what if we just unlock down here? An auxiliary pump, a reverse valve upgrade. Okay, so this thing at the back, I can upgrade it. Actually, I'll read it whilst I'm clicking. That makes sense. Provides pressure to a source channel if placed next to it. Requires eight yellow stuff to operate. Uh, well, shall I try the auxiliary pump? So yeah, I shove that on top of there and that makes this better. So that requires eight yellows to work. So shove those in. Oh, it's doing it automatically. Oh, yes. Oh, that's good. That's really good. So now I can just focus on clicking. I don't need to hold that down. Oh, that's actually really good. So we're getting to the automation phase now. I do worry, though, how fast it's getting through those yellows. Because everything is chewing up yellows right now. Yeah, look, it's run out. It's run out. Which means I gotta hold down. Do all this myself. And because I upgraded that thing, the upgraded version, it lifts this, this drill back up. So when I do want to go, we gotta wait for it to go down again. Oh, that's slightly annoying, actually. Still, we'll leave that doing its thing. Because we can now afford this thing, which we had from the start. But we haven't actually looked at yet. The industrial destabilizer. So it quadruples the power of the resource crushing process. Requires 64. 64 yellow is a lot. It upgrades those basically. Okay, so if I shove that there, I don't have 64 to go in. And now this one's not working. These take ages. I've just found out though, I can hold this as well, which means we build twice as fast because we've got that thing helping me. We've also got me clicking. All right, now we've got the 64. So they can go in there, which means, yeah, the ones on this edge, they take way less clicking, like three clicks or something. So yeah, let's hold these down, get those built. So yeah, these corner ones, oh, they're gone in like seconds. It's beautiful. All right, I'm wondering though, is it worth adding more of these destabilizers? I just get them around this edge, that edge as well. So as long as I add yellow to all of them, this should be a lot less clicks. Then if we build quickly, we can then just pop them quickly. Now, I love the graphics on this, by the way. Like, it's so like shiny looking. Anyway, let's add let's add more destabilizers. We can add, we can add one there. Okay, I can afford one more. We'll shove that there. Get the yellow in. So now this corner here, one, two, three, and it's gone. This corner, one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, nice. So we are really getting through these fast now. This is good. This is real good. I feel like this might be the only clicker game that I'm not going to use an auto clicker for. I don't actually feel like I need to because I can upgrade stuff. Upgrades, not auto clickers. It's the new movement. Oh, we got a purple. Quanetite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, look, we're in the purple now. Is that because we're at, like, we're over 200 meters deep? Probably. Okay, has that unlocked new stuff? Oh, yeah, it has. Oh, look at this down here. We've got the purples. So we can demolish for one purple. So that's useful. Like, we may want to make space at some point. Uh, we've got an entropy resonator. Periodically crushes resources if placed next to stuff. Ah, so I can use that to, well, to save myself clicking completely. We can properly automate. Now we've also got a Karenite enrichment vat. Slowly reacts the purple stuff with the black stuff to produce the yellow stuff. Okay, can that just go like anywhere? So if I just shove that like up there, say, and then, oh, it needs 32 purples. Blimmin' out. All right, I feel like we can get that reasonably quick. If I just like speed run building these, clicking the purple ones, well, clicking all of them. All right, yeah, we're getting loads of purple. Oh, I got loads of purple now. We've got 40. So let's shove all of that in there. So that should make us yellows. It looks like one of those elixir storages from uh, from Clash of Clans. Yes, yeah, so can you see that's got like a little bar on it? So that's filling up. So that should just get us um, some yellows, which is cool, I guess. Uh, so let's try this resonator thing. So if we shove one in the corner, fill it with a purple. So the purple's gone in. That should destroy that one automatically. Yes, but it's quite slow. Is that better than just clicking? Like... <laughs> It seems really slow. I mean, yes, it would maybe be better in the middle. It, well, it should pop three, should it? I don't know. Maybe I'll try it. Maybe let's swap this one. So let's demolish that. And then we'll put an entropy thing in there. Add a purple. Then does that pop three? 
Oh, yeah, it does. Okay, it actually does. Okay, so I'll tell you what. I may need to replace this thing, which... What was that called again? The industrial destabilizer. I may have to swap that to get three down this side clicking, like, automatically. Uh, oh, I, I just realized I've been completely ignoring Paddy. He's like, well, where are you? <laughs> We've been waiting for you for ages now. Paddy wants to go on a walk. So I told him I found a blue a blue machine. We've also learned some, like, some shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts. Paddy's like, chop, chop, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap, where are you? Are you okay? I am actually, I am paying attention this time, Pad. I told Paddy to chill out. What's going on? You've been ghosting me for two weeks now. <laughs> Have I been playing that for this long? Yeah, what are you talking about? We literally texted like two minutes ago. Anyway, I need to keep clicking. I'm loving clicking. Oh no, Paddy's mad at me. Paddy's mad. What do you mean a simple question? Where am I? I'm here. I'm just clicking. All right, anyway, hang on, Pad, because look, we've just unlocked the extracting channel. It extracts resources. So basically, I can shove another one down like there or maybe over this way. I think there. Then I got to get a similar setup with those things. So what do I need? I need one of these channel coolers that can go that can go there. I need one of these reverse valves to go there and then upgrade it to an auxiliary pump. Then fill that up. Make sure they're filled up. Right. And then this should be bonking both sides. Yeah, I think it is. So yeah, they're working pretty well. I might actually, if I can afford it, get destabilizers around the edge. And what do I need to get that entropy thing? The auto clicker, basically. Oh, another another load of black stuff. Now it's worth noting this this mine, because it's so high up. Um it's it's not getting like the purples yet. So the purples only come from this side, and the purples are what I need. Oh no, it's just the black stuff that I need. Okay, cool. We can dig either side then. Right, now we can afford one. Let's shove that there. There. So that will click those as long as it's got a purple in. All right, and now we're pretty automated right now. We will shove another destabilizer probably, yeah, probably over this side just to make these a bit easier to click. All right, then we are actually quite short on the old yellows. So maybe fill this thing back up again. So remember, that turns the, the black and the purples into yellows. So that's good. Okay, another destabilizer down this end. So maybe I'm wondering if I had less cubes, but more of these like channel coolers, would that actually be better? Let's demolish that then in this gap have another channel cooler okay so they pop up really quick now the trouble is we're not popping them very quick so what i need to do i need to try and save up for a an industrial stabilizer so if i shove that there fill that with 64 yellows uh, fill up this thing as well while we're here then that should allow clicks way quicker uh, also i think i'm gonna i'm gonna swap that one for a auto clicky thing the entropy resonator so i need three and a half thousand black stuff all right so without the blocks this is my setup i got two of those things which means all of those are getting clicked i want to swap that so let's demolish that i want to swap it with one of those clickers and then the industrial stabilizers i can only afford one but basically i want to try and cover all of the area actually i think that's pretty good that's going to cover four blocks yeah so let's do that one first fill that with 64 cubes all right and then we can fill those in everything can get up and running again and it should be fairly automated now i will keep adding destabilizers about because they mean everything pops in less clicks but yeah all i really need to do is make sure things are things are topped up with the fuel and uh, just do a little bit of clicking wherever i want to right nice we can afford another industrial destabilizer so let's shove that in there i need more yellows so we'll top this up maybe i'll build another one of those vats oh no wait they're well expensive so yellows seem to be coming from this side because the mine is at the right height uh, this side it seems to all have moved to purple so that's something worth noting you do need to keep adding like the new like mine drills just so you can get like a range of different different resources otherwise you will have to use these vats and uh, to be honest i will just add another vat so we'll fill that one up as well okay so now we've got over 64 yellows so shove them in there that should mean these edge ones get popped really quick all right up here we've gained more yellow so let's shove those in all right we can afford more of these so we could make this better but what i'm thinking we just save up for another extracting channel so we need a thousand purple now thankfully our, our mine on the left has started getting purple now so we shouldn't be too much longer all right oh man we've collected sixty-four thousand stones that's a lot of stones actually i've got loads of black ones as well yeah since we're just waiting for the purples shall i start building like to get ahead basically i just want this set up in each corner don't i if i shove that there 
that there. Reverse valve there. Turn into an auxiliary pump. Turn that one into an industrial destabilizer. And then, oh, look, that's a new, that's a new resource. Pop that. We've got red cubes. Okay, nice. Now we're collecting red cubes. That's good. Do we have enough for the extra extracting channel? No, we don't yet. Now, let's just do a little bit more clicking then. Oh, no, this right one, it's not making purples anymore. So we can only get purples from the left. Thankfully, we're over a thousand now. So we're close. Yes, okay, we can afford a new channel. So if we shove the channel there, then everything we've already got should be helping, at least that edge. We've just got to add more stuff like down this side. So there in the middle, we'll add that, fill it with a purple. So that's like an auto clicker thing. So now all of these are getting auto clicked. I do just need a destabilizer there. I'm on that. Right, nice. Then I'll upgrade them to industrial ones once I've got the resource. And we need a lot of resource. So for now, let's just keep doing what we're doing. This is going quite well, though. I'm quite liking my layout as well. All right, so Paddy says, uh, by the way, the cops are now looking for you. I went missing. Um, I've also been told I can move about. And up north, there's a strange rock. You know, so here's my base. So let's just go north. Oh, it is a strange rock. Oh, it made a noise. Now, actually, what did my what did my red stuff unlock? A pump station, an auxiliary pump upgrade that provides quadruple pressure. Oh, it's called beta plyline, the red stuff. Now, we've also got a charonite sump. Reclaims quanatite, which is the purple, from the liquefied charonite sediments in the presence of catalyst. What? <laughs> What does that even mean? Is it just one of these vat things? We've also unlocked a recycling tower. Allows machine recycling, which returns 90% of the resources. There can only be one. So basically, the demolish tool, rather than getting 50% of the resources, we get 90% back. So good if I want to start replacing stuff. What does this material streamer tower do? Channels resources via the stream. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, no, I need a lot of, a lot of red for that. 32,000. All right, well, let's see what this something does. It doesn't seem to link to any of my buildings. So yeah, let's just shove that like over here. So, ah, right. So I can get purples by putting, oh, by putting all of the others into it. Oh man, that seems like quite a lot. I'll do it. So, oh, look, you can see it working. Okay, so I'll get me loads of purples. This will get me loads of yellows. So we'll keep all that going. We'll keep clicking down here, obviously. But I need 2,000 purples to get another channel in. Right, industrial destabilizer. We'll shove this. Yeah, probably there makes the most sense. Oh, I need 64 yellows for that. Blimmin' out. They're close to getting me more yellows. Right, oh, that thing just gave me loads of loads of purple, so that's good. All right, there come the yellows as well. Okay, that actually gives quite a lot. I'll fill all of those back up. I think I'm going to prep my next one of these. So I want two of them, the reverse valve. Oh, man, I need fat resources to get the auxiliary pump. 16,000. We're up to 13,000. There's probably no point stressing over that for now, because I can't actually afford the, the next one of them. I need two thousand purple so i'll keep pumping them into these for now right so we're then at the point where we do have stonks so we can afford a new extracting channel so we'll shove that in there we can make that an auxiliary pump as well yes okay we're fully automated on four planes now our original drill is down to over 600 meters by the way yeah i'm thinking of investing in more of that uh oh we've also unlocked we've unlocked a better plyline oxidizer oh that makes the black stuff out of the red stuff. Interesting. Right, anyway, top up all of these guys. Try and make sure everything else is topped up. Yeah, as I've just explained to Paddy, we've we've worked out that these aren't infinite. So I do need to keep doing these vats and stuff. So I'm going to invest in those. Make sure I can fill them up. All right, then we've got the resources to get one of these oxidizers on. So I guess we shove that up here. Looks sort of like a petrol pump, but that needs 8,000 red stuff. <laughs> Okay, that seems like quite a way off. Um, oh, I can afford a better pump station, though. So I might do the original one. Let's try and drill really deep. So if I upgrade that one, I've got to fill that with 256 yellow and four reds. But then that should bring the cubes up really quick. I can actually invest in those on like every corner actually. So yeah, this is really producing some resource now. All automated as well. I'm not even clicking anymore. Right, anyway, I'm going to add some more clicky things to my build. So we've now got clickers on every edge. Now we can now afford to fill this thing up. That's the 8,000 red went in there. So that should give me a load of the 
the like black stuff, which hopefully means stonks. Now I do still need to get a pump station down on this corner. I'm waiting on the yellow. Oh, I can afford it now. Let's do it now. Boosh. There it is. Oh, I can't afford to fill it up though. <laughs> right, quick. Fill this thing up. That will get me some yellows. All right, then we can fill up that pump station. Right, now we are like almost fully automated. Now I've just got to make sure everything stays like stocked up with fuel, uh, particularly these machines as well. By the way, that thing gave me loads of loads of the black, so definitely keep filling that up. Can afford another one of them. May as well. I'll get a recycling tower. I don't really think I need it, but may as well shove it in. It looks it looks cool without sounding like an architect. All right, I think keep adding these these vats. I don't know if I'm in end game, but I feel like that's what I need to do to progress at the moment. All right, so the question now, do I start adding to this? Do I add like more mines? Because if I keep these pumps in the middle and then get an extraction channel like there, then yeah, that starts producing quite quickly. I could shove that there with that in. Get the destabilizers. Industrialize them up. Of course, fill up all of these. Oh man, so many resources flying everywhere. Oh, and then look, look, we got a green. So let's bash through that one. Oh, that's taking some bashing that is. Oh man, that's taking so much clicking. I've I'm literally just clicking this one constantly. Come on. Right, we got a green. We got a greenie. What a pain in the ass. Yeah, telling me. <laughs> well, I'm telling Paddy. Oh, man, we've unlocked loads of stuff. So a disassembling tower, a recycling tower upgrade allows machine disassembly, which returns all the resources. Okay, that's fine. A fill director indicates machines ready for filling. There's quite a lot of points where I'm not sure what needs filling. I'm just sort of clicking everywhere. You can see like dotted around. There's lots of empty machines. I got to try and keep them all build. Ah, yeah. oh, here we go. The hell gem injector swaps a random resource from an adjacent cube with a hell gem. Oh, so I can get more green stuff using those, I think. We then have a underground silo. Oh, automatically refills nearby machines. That could be useful. Man, I feel like this is a game that just could like keep on going and going. And like, what was the purpose of this rock thing up here? Can I recycle the rock? No, I can't. <laughs> but yeah, this recording's probably already too long. My editors probably already hate me. So uh, for now, I guess we'll leave it there. But that was really, really fun and unique. Uh, it's called 64 and it came out on the 4th of March. So yeah, go check it out. It was made by a solo dev apparently. So for now, peace, love, and how can Paddy even text? He's got paws, not fingers. Bye, guys.